Okay, so you should have a board, not one of the cardboard portfolios, but a board. And then you should have your watercolor paper on here, taped off, gridded out in two by three-ish squares that you have enough to work with. We have squares right next to each other. So as we work, try to move around because we're only gonna do a couple of techniques today. So maybe do this square, this square, this square, and that square so that they don't bleed into each other. A lot of working with watercolor is letting it dry and it dries fast. So it's not like you have to sit around. But if I do both these squares next to each other and I have blue here and yellow here, we all know that the, as soon as the water molecules like touch each other, the pigment is just gonna rush in between those two areas. So you wanna keep everything separated. The first technique that we're gonna look at is using a crayon, AKA wax resist. It is a waxy material and the watercolor pigment doesn't like to go on it. It's gonna run away from it. So we use white to try to keep it classy. Um, I find that when you use a bunch of rainbow colors with the crayons, it can tend to look very juvenile very, very quickly. But if you use white, people don't really know that you used crayon and it just looks like really cool white lines. So for this, we can do like little hidden messages, um, whatever, but I'm gonna use dark colors for almost everything I'm doing. You don't have to, but yellow just tends to not really show up on the camera when I have yellow and white. There's no contrast there. So I'm gonna pick a square and then it really depends on how well you push down with this. You need to give it some pressure so there's actually like getting some wax onto the surface. So I want everybody to do some kind of pattern. Let's do circles and zigzags just so we can keep it consistent. So I'm gonna do this square right here, this rectangle, and I'm gonna do a couple of circles and some kind of pattern. And then I'm gonna do some like, you notice I'm going back and forth to kind of like push on it. Get some pattern going. Okay, so you may use this in your watercolor project, maybe around the edge of your sea creature or to give spots or highlights where the water, where the light comes through water. I've seen people do that. Okay, so you kind of get that off there. And then get your color, whatever color you're gonna go with. I'm gonna do a dark color so you can see. And remember, we're using the tiniest amount of paint because you can always get more. It's kind of an oily. Get that out of there. Just a little bit of color. This is a goopy one. It's watercolor, but it's not really what I'm looking for. Sheesh. This is one of those where somebody put paint back in the tube. They tried to trick us. There's some actual color. Okay. Look at all that mess. Oh, well. Okay. So I have brush. I'm using a smaller brush. This is about the small brush I have. This is about the medium brush I have. Whatever you want. And then I have my water. Watercolor is about water. You need water. I'm trying to paint up here in acrylic, some of you. Okay, I'm gonna get some of that pigment, kind of mix it around, use my palette to my advantage to kind of thin the color. But I still want color there, so I've got this nice shiny color. And then, I can add more water to it. Just kind of paint over. So if it's too thick, like right here, it kind of covers up the wax. There's not enough wax there for it to work with. Over here where it's nice and thin where I'm actually letting the watercolor be watercolor and you don't have to do the squares perfectly just try to stay in the lines and there's my lovely we look how pretty it is awesome so this one is the one where I had it a little bit too thick of paint so it doesn't like that you can always blot it away if you want to but, okay, so I want you to do one square using your crayon and do some sort of basic pattern. Doesn't have to be exactly circles and zigzags, but some kind of pattern and then paint over it using your water watercolor as such, okay?